In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on Saturday, February 12, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like access to our exclusive betting picks, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Now let's get started. Brooklyn Nets vs Miami Heat The Brooklyn Nets will travel south to the FTX Arena on Saturday night to take on the Miami Heat in an Eastern Conference matchup. The Nets are 8th in the Eastern Conference with a 29-26 record and are riding a 10-game losing streak after losing on the road on Thursday against the Washington Wizards 113-112. The Heat are the top seed in the Eastern Conference with a 36-20 record and are riding a 4-game winning streak after winning on the road on Thursday against the New Orleans Pelicans 112-97. This is just the second of four matchups this season as the Heat were able to pick up a 106-3 road win very early in the season. Looking at the adjusted defensive rating for these teams shows a major separation as Miami is 6 with a 108 rating while Brooklyn is 22nd in the league with a 112.3 rating. The defenses as of late have been showing a bit of a separation as the Nets are allowing 109.2 points in their previous five games while the Heat are giving up 94.5 points in their last four games. The injuries are piling up for Brooklyn without Kevin Durant, LaMarcus Aldridge, Nick Claxton, and Jill Harris are all out and the reinforcements of Seth Curry and Andre Andre Drummond are questionable for this game while Ben Simmons continues to ramp up for a return. The Miami Heat money line is our full game side bet. Miami has managed to keep three of four opponents under 100 points during their current win streak. They rank sixth in the NBA in defensive efficiency and hold teams to just 103.5 points per game at home the fifth best record in the league. Brooklyn has struggled scoring lately, averaging just 106.6 points per game during their losing streak, which is about five points less than their season average. The total has gone under in six of eight meetings between these teams played in Miami and in the last 10 meetings overall, the average amount of points scored averages out at 213.2 per game. The three most recent meetings have all gone under with just 199.3 points per game being scored in them. These teams have been playing at a more methodical pace as the Nets are are averaging 98.8 possessions, which is 10th in the sport while the Heat are 27th in the NBA with 95.9 possessions per game. These teams are struggling to score the ball as Brooklyn is averaging 102 points in their previous five games while Miami is scoring 112.3 points in their last four games. Under the project total is our full game total pick. Oklahoma City Thunder vs. Chicago Bulls It's an interconference clash between a pair of teams at opposite ends of the standings in the Windy City. The Oklahoma City Thunder are on the road as they travel to face the Chicago Bulls sad night. Both teams are playing the second game of a back-to-back -back situation here. Oklahoma City fell 100-87 on the road to the 76ers Friday night in the front half of their back-to-back -back set. Chicago ran to a 134-122 home victory over Minnesota in their previous contest which came at home Friday night. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the teams are even at 76 victories each though the Bulls have won the last two matchups. That includes a 111-110 road win in the first meeting this season on January 24th. Not having their leading scorer and best player Shai Gilgis Alexander is proving to be very costly for this OKC Thunder squad as they continue losing games. Last night in Philadelphia they lost by 13 points, failing to cover a 12.5 spread as they scored just 87 points. Veteran Derek Favors led the scoring with 16 points, but as a team, they managed to shoot just 38% from the field and a pedestrian 17% from three-point land. This team has won just four of their last 20 games overall and against the Eastern Conference they are 0-7 SU in their last seven games. Chicago also played last night, but unlike the Thunder, they won't be traveling ahead of tonight's game, so they get the benefit of some extra rest here. DeMar DeRozan continued his brilliant play with another 35-point performance. His fourth straight game with at least 35 scored and the Bulls took care of business against Minnesota 134-122. It was a total team effort for Chicago as they finished the game with an insane 63% shooting from the field and made 14 of their 31 attempts from three. They've now covered in six of their last eight games played. Plus against Northwest Division teams, they are a perfect 5-0 SU 
LSU in the last five outings, OKC's last three losses have all been by 13 or more points. Plus, they've struggled scoring the entire season. With SGA out, I think they'll have a hard time keeping up with the Bulls, who have put up 120 or more points in four of their last five games on crazy efficiency. Chicago Bulls to win and cover the spread is our full game side pick. Oklahoma City has sputtered offensively, which has helped lead to the under hitting in 32 of their first 55 games. With one push on the year, the Thunder are 18th in the league in tempo with 97.8 possessions a night. Chicago goes into this game having seen the under hit in 24 of their 56 games this season with one push. The Bulls enter this game 15th in the league in tempo as they average 98.4 possessions per contest. Chicago comes in with 8 overs in their last 9 games thanks to their offensive firepower. We've seen the over hit in 6 of the last 7 meetings between these teams. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Lakers vs. Golden State Warriors The Los Angeles Lakers are not in a good place right now and if they continue this way, they are going to miss out on the playoffs. Frank Vogel's team lost 11 of the last 16 games, and they even lost to the rebuilding Trail Blazers in the most recent game. The Golden State Warriors, on the other end, are fighting for the top spot in the West but did suffer a couple of defeats to Utah and New York following a nine-game winning run. The Lakers are a bit of a hot mess. Since capping a four-game winning streak with a 134-118 victory over Atlanta on January 7th, they are 5-11 to and have not won more than one game in a row while posting two three-game losing streaks. LeBron James had 30 points in perhaps its most dispiriting loss of the season, 107-105 to in Portland on Thursday against a team that cleaned house at the trade deadline and has not had Damian Lillard for a month because of an abdominal surgery. The Lakers were without Russell Westbrook for the first time this season, and because of off and on injuries to James and Anthony Davis have used 28 different starting lineups. They enter the Portland game on a two-game losing streak. Streak. James missed five games recently before returning for the last three, and Davis has played in only 35 games. James and Westbrook are questionable for the game. Davis and Dwight Howard are expected to play. The Lakers are 5-2 straight up and 4-3 against the spread in the last seven games of the season series. They have won three in a row and four of the last five in the Bay Area. 4-1 against the spread. Steph Curry did not play in the first two games of that run while missing the 2019-2020 season with an injury. In this Western Conference matchup, look for Golden State to get back on track versus a struggling Lakers unit. So far, the Warriors have been one of the best rebounding teams in the NBA. I expect this to play a factor as the Lakers are the 26th rated team in terms of rebounds allowed. In addition, I see Los Angeles struggling with their outside shot as the Warriors are the number one rated defense in opponent three point percentage allowed. The Golden State Warriors money line is our full game side pick. Coming into this game, the Lakers hold an over under record of 32 to 24 in large part from their tendency to play an up-tempo style of basketball. Even though Golden State is one of the NBA's better defensive units, look for this to be a high-scoring game as the Warriors' offense will benefit from matching Los Angeles' speed. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like us to do a similar video on, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like us to give you picks on. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.